Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my Sephora VIB Rouge Sale Haul. And this sale ended last week for VIB and it, it ended two weeks ago for the VIB Rouge. Uh, the VIB Rouge received a 25% off coupon code and the VIBs received a 20% coupon code. So here is my bag of goodies. I'm gonna start by showing you my skincare products that I got and I got the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. This is how it looks. Let me open it for you. So this is a glass container. It has one ounce of product and what it says is that it brightens, exfoliates, plumps lines, reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation, instantly boosts radiance. So I got this product because I have been having a little bit of issues with hyperpigmentation and dark spots on my face. I don't have any issues with wrinkles yet, but I think this is a really good product to proactively prevent any wrinkles later on. So this product was very expensive, that is why I decided to get it when the VIB Rouge sale came around. Um, it costs $105 without the discount. Um, so yeah, next I got the Dr. Brad Micro Dermabrasion H-Defying Def Exfoliator. And this one costs $78 if I'm not wrong. It is a pretty big bottle. I don't know how much is in here. Okay, well, um, so it says that there's two ounces in here and it is just a white cream. I haven't opened it yet, but I did get a sample of this at Sephora, I would say around four months ago, but I was just never brave enough to purchase it since it was a little steep on the price. But this is how the product looks. And it feels like little granules are there. So that is why it exfoliates your skin. And I did try it, like I said, in a sample, and I love the way that it left my skin. It did take away a lot of the dead skin cells, and it made my face look a lot cleaner. So, um, I also got a mask, and this is the Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask. <sighs> Let me get out of the package. So, this is how it looks. Basically what it is, it is just a mask to renew antioxidant in your face and for hydration. So the cap is magnetic so that way you can stick the spatula on. Sorry, I'm not trying to flick anyone off. But this is how you put it on. And it does look like honey. It looks kind of like a jelly. And I read some reviews that it's supposed to tingle a little bit, feel like there's a warming sensation. But I haven't tried it. I'll probably try it tonight when I remove my makeup. So yeah, these were all my skincare products that I grabbed. Um, I know I'm going to be really happy with a Dr. Brandt one. Like I said, I already have tried it before. So we'll see how the other two go. Um, for my eyes, I grabbed the Sephora Pro Crease Brush number 10. This was on sale on top of the VIB Rouge sale. So I think this one was like 10 bucks. Um, it is really soft. It's way softer than my MAC 224 actually. I can't wait to use it. You know, you can't have too many blending brushes. For my eyes, sorry, there's a lot of noise. I also grabbed uh, a repurchase of my Velour lashes. These are in another shot of Wispy. I really like these lashes because they look very natural. The only thing that I don't like on these are the band. I feel like the band is a little too thick. Um, I would rather have a band, an invisible band like the Ardell Wispies, but they still work really good. I got this Stila Intense Black Eyeliner. I'll take it out. And this is just a repurchase. Um, I have to do my favorites video. I haven't done one since I started my YouTube channel, but this would be top of the line. I think I have already repurchased this eyeliner four or five times. That's how it looks. And it is a felt tip. It is very intense black. I'll do a swatch right here. And the tip is very fine, so that way you can get a really precise winged eyeliner. One thing that I bought is this little small, um, instantly sexy lip injection extreme from Too Faced. And I got the small 
travel size. And for this one, I went in store to purchase it. I just didn't know what to buy. I was just actually making an excuse to go purchase something. And it is just a clear gloss. And there's the little wand. It is a little stain because I did use it today. And um, it doesn't do anything extreme for me. I do have small lips, I think so. But it's not like it makes you have lips like Kylie Jenner, no. Um, I do like it. I think that I would wear it on days that I won't wear makeup just to make my lips pop out a little bit more. But that's it. Nothing special. Uh, one more thing, and I think this is my last thing. Yes, it is. This is my Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom Gel. And I got this one in the translucent color. So it is just a small little tube like this. It has a little wand. That's how it looks. So I got this because I wanted to try a new brow gel. I did have the Anastasia one, but I didn't really like it that much. So we'll see how this one works out. Um, I really have good and high hopes on this because I have heard a lot of really good reviews. So we'll see how it works. Um, so yeah, that was it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel.